Minnesota Fighting Vikings general manager Prate Ricke Spielman fed the media jackals yesterday. And yes, with Spielman, take everything he says with an ocean full of salt, just sodium, son. We have no intention of trading Percy Harvin at this time. But one quote stuck with me that seems logical, logistically it makes sense, and potentially could be true. Maybe. Thomason, go. Vikings GM Rick Spielman said if most of the players they like after the first round are looking like they might be gone by the end of the second round, they would increase the chance they trade into the second round. They currently don't have a second round pick. Now, on his face, and you break it down, it's like, well, no poop. If there are good players you like before you pick, you should go get them, right? So there's a big gap between 14 and 78. But given the Vikings are absent a second-round pick, and they do have a total of 10 selections, including eight in the third, fourth, fifth rounds, the meat of this draft, I think the Vikings could and should make a move. Now, I think if the Vikings get back into the second round, it will involve a trade up as opposed to a trade down. It cer certainly, the Vikings could trade down for 14, get into the back end of the first round, pick up a second round pick. I, I know that all the mock draft simulators make it just that easy peasy lemon squeezy, but it's going to, the board is going to have to break nearly perfect for the Vikings to have that sort of leverage. So we'll see there. So I think logically it makes sense where the Vikings will package up some of those mid round picks and looking at the infamous trade chart. And again, the chart is not gospel. It's a mere guidelines. Vikings do have two thirds, 78 and 90. And then you look at their top two fourth round picks. Uh, if you package those all up together for selections, they have a total point value of 443 in the neighborhood of a mid second round pick. Ironically, 45 was originally the Vikings pick, which has sent the, the Jaguars in the Yannick the freaking Gakwe trade. Now, it seems like a lot. Four mid-round picks condensed into one, uh, especially during the sexiness in the meat of the middle of this draft. But the Vikings would still have two fours, two fifths, and a six for seven total selections. You know, like a normal team. Mm. But that is certainly a steep price to pay. And I think it's more likely they could package a three, four, five to get into the back end of the second round. And it's hard to project who would want to trade down in this spot because it's so board dependent. But that could be a sweet spot for the Vikings to get back into the second and still have a ton of sweet draft capital, a third, three-fourths, a fifth, and a sixth as well. And again, we preface this list of players who could be available. Again, could. So misses with the, eh, no way, der, I got them in the fourth round, my mock, blah, 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 blah. This is just a taste, and also they're not in order. They're just a scatter shot of players who could be available in the mid to back end of the second round. But players like Ed Rusher, Ronnie Perkins from Oklahoma, Ron Perkins, Dwayne Eskridge from Western Michigan, row the boat, Levi Mozariki, Washington, safety, Richie Grant, and most importantly, offensive line, especially if they don't hit it in the first round, which... I would cry, but Creed Humphrey from Oklahoma, even though he's probably going to be a top end of the second round type guy, Wheeler Walker Little Jr., maybe he takes a tumble, Quinn Maynard's from uh, UW-Whitewater, maybe a guy like Jim Mayfield makes it to the mid-second round. Of course, guys like Trey Smith, Ben Cleveland, although uh, they could certainly be there in the third round as well. In retrospect, Spielman's statement is a LOL, duh, ob statement, but it would be against character, packaging up picks and trading up outside of the back end of the first round, which he's done several times in the past it would be out of character it would be against what they've traditionally done but with the draft capital that they have and a run on second round talent in this draft just like every single other draft the vikings could and should have this option on the table if the board breaks right and if they ignore offensive line in the first round all the options should be on the table. But your thoughts, Vikings game back in the second. Let us know in the comments section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support that work? Pull some of the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.